Flashback 13.5 Friends and Diamonds Are Forever Part 5 Hunting the Wicked Witch of the Weft in New York City of Dis. Well, we remained, yes, we were still right there. We were there with the frozen in time Knights Templar headquarters beneath Castle Athlone's museum. And there with entombed Mr. Lesky, encased in a crystalline, solidified substance with frost and ice everywhere. Yes, he was also still right there with us. Things of significance and importance seemed to take time. And we had a lot to unpack, to process, and decide. Therefore, this was taking some time. Sarah rallied. We will find a way to save my father, to save Mr. Lesky. Taylor added, with Athlone not being safe and for our operating on our own, we need to figure out what our next steps should be. She added, our home is the KT cargo plane here on out. We will maximize its Faraday cage and cloaking technologies. Taylor grinned, like the old TV show, The A-Team. We are on our own, pursuing missions as we see fit, but in service of God's mission quest. She smiled. We are God's A-Team. We are the G-Team. We will go on covert, secret missions for God and righteousness, she declared. She repeated, the G-Team. God's team, covert, just, unwavering, and unrelenting. Taylor added, we will need to operate entirely on our aliases in the dark and use untraceable accounts like those that Midnight and Associates set up for us and that your daughter Amanda has been juggling and obfuscating our transactions for. As the G-Team, she declared, we must operate covertly incognito. We are forever now on special operations, special missions, like Spec Ops. Taylor asserted, this is a setback. Wars lose battles. Wars lose great people. Loss is life. Life is loss. She emphasized, we carry on. She asserted, we make loss into fuel to propel and motivate, to overcome and triumph, and to crush our enemies and destroy our opposition. Roar! She roared insanely. Bob declared, I am happy to save the world and be on God's G-Team. We have more purpose and value that way than most anyone else would in the entire world. We literally, Bob declared, are saving the world. It was so much to process. I had to add my two cliché, my two cents worth, and so I said, Well, as Dante Alighieri had suggested in The Divine Comedy, one must pass through hell to arrive at heaven. This, most certainly, is a moment in hell for us. I added, Let's try and focus on some positive points instead of all the hell. Mr. Lesky is alive. Being suspended might have saved his life from those gunshot wounds. And the round table and the relics, well, they've been protected and kept from the hands of the devil and the cult. 
They came here for a reason, and they were thwarted. I continued, We have the resources and force of will to quest onward and stop Baal, his cult, the tapestry, and all his evil. Stop him from unleashing hell on earth. I turned to the team. Look, you just rescued me. And while away for me, we lost Mr. Lesky. I appreciate being saved. I want to pay back my rescue and save Mr. Lesky. I mused aloud for the team. Hmm. If we had the crown of Baal, the cult could not drain souls into strips of Baal. And thusly, the tapestry would be stopped dead in its tracks. The tapestry of Baal could never be finished. And thus, it could never be used. And thus, no portal between hell and earth and no unleashing of hell on earth. I speculated. Maybe we are going about this all wrong. We need to stop the tapestry of Baal. We need to stop it from being created. We do not need to destroy it. We don't need to destroy it once it's created. I declared, so let's find the crown of Baal. And ideally, we can find and use the anvil of creation and destruction that Sarah saw in Prague and destroy the crown of Baal with the anvil once and for all. Bob exclaimed, Brilliant! Of course, if we waited for the tapestry to be finished to destroy it, well, I guess it would have already opened the gates to hell. So you're really right. We hadn't thought this through. The crown was key to draining souls. We saw it. It had to be on the victim's head. So yeah, we get the crown and we stop the tapestry in the tracks. Dead in its tracks. Right on, Richard. That is smart thinking. Right on. I smiled at Bob and continued and said, I agree with Sarah. We should go after the World Economic Forum, WEF, George Soros. He's clearly a top dog right there next to Bill Gates. We stopped Bill in Prague so we can stop Soros in New York. I imagine he will be at the beginning and at the end of an evil ball of wicked yarn that we unravel. We will unravel his Weth Soros evil plans and see better how to acquire the crown of Baal or otherwise stop or destroy the tapestry of Baal. I stressed, in the face of such tragedy, we must hunt and stop the puppets of hell, including the Wicked Witch of the East, aka the Wicked Witch of the Weth, Weth Soros. We need to drop a house on the Wicked Witch of the Weth. We need to drop a house on Soros. Oh, and if we encounter any World Economic Forum Weth puppets, other than Soros, puppets to the seven princes of hell, well, let's pay them a very special courtesy visit. I grinned. But first, right now, we honor Sarah's mission quest. We hunt the wicked witch of the weth, Soros.